constant jostling of, of where the podcasts fit in within the structure of the websites, we couldn't wait for the website to catch up. Right. You can't wait when news is breaking. We couldn't wait for somebody to take five hours or a half a day or a day to put up a post. Right, right. And that's eventually, you know, really what caused, I think, the, the break was it's clear that these two forces, no pun intended, were just at odds. For me, at the end, it seemed like we were a burden for the force.net after much anxiety and debating and talk, we just realized that maybe it would be best if we tried to do it on our own and put our money where our mouth is and find out if that audience really is ours to begin with. We came up with the name Rebel Force Radio. When the day finally came to announce that we were starting our own thing, it was obvious that people were ready for it. Right away with the, the Facebook page, people were clicking like at just a record level. We went and released our show and it went right up to number one on TV film. We saw we were getting the hits. There's never a doubt of where the passion comes from. It's for the love of the project, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, of what we're doing. It's not, there's no other agenda. Right. There is uh, no there's agenda. no other agenda. There never has been. But anything that is going to try to corrupt our enthusiasm <laughs> is going to be dealt with <laughs> in a very harsh and severe manner. <laughs> Let that be clear. <laughs> Let it be clear. But, uh... <laughs> I don't. Uh, that's it. I mean, that's, that, it. that's it. That's, that's it. it. Let's go do a show.